What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Leah here and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And this video is going to be a little bit different than what I've normally been doing on my channel. This is not going to be a tutorial. This is going to be this is going to be kind of like a mini haul for you guys. And what I'm going to be sharing with you today is my makeup finds from TJ Maxx and Target. So if you're interested in seeing what I got today, stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. Also, before I forget, if you're new here to my channel, welcome my name is Leah and I love to have you a part of my family so if you're interested in seeing more of my videos subscribe and like this video and also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video so without further ado let's go ahead and get into these products and see what I got from TJ Maxx and Target all right guys so first we're going to talk about uh the brushes that I had got so the first brush that I'm going to show you guys is by Real Techniques. It was one of their limited edition brushes. And this is a, it's called the 303 Contour Brush. And if you know me, you know my favorite color is pink. I like everything that glitters and sparkles. So I was really drawn to this brush when I seen it. And this is the brush. When I saw this brush, I was so drawn to it. And so I just had to have it. So this brush retails for $12.99 and I got it for $3.50 from TJ Maxx. So this is again the 303 Real Techniques Contour Brush. So the next brush that I'm going to share with you guys is by Japanesque and it is their Angled Blush Brush. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is just the package that it came in. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And it's real nice and soft, just really, just the basic angled blush brush, but I don't have one like it. And I've heard really great things about this company, so I'm excited to try it. And again, let me know if you're interested in seeing me do a video where I try out all these products. So this brush retails for $19.99 and I got it on sale at TJ Maxx for $5.99. So I'm really excited to use it. I don't have any brushes by Japanesque. I've heard really great things about them. Um, so I am looking forward to trying that brush. The next brush is another Japanesque brush and it's their Precision, Precision, Precision Baking Brush. And it's just a small brush like this. Um, if you saw my previous video, you know that I don't bake anywhere on my face because my skin is so dry and I've never gotten, uh, I've never been able to get baking to work for me. So I'll probably use this as an eyeshadow brush. I don't know quite yet. So this is what the brush looks like. If you look at it from the side, it's kind of angled. It's nice and fluffy. Um, so I'm also excited to try this one as well. Um, this brush retailed for $11.99 and I got it on sale for $3.99. So again, another great deal that you just cannot beat. So the next product is by Real Techniques and it is their Two Miracle Mini Eraser Sponges. I see a lot of uh, MUAs and YouTubers use this for under the eye area and on the lid for with uh, like concealer. Some people even use them for baking. So these sponges retailed for $6 and I got them for $2.99. So that's like half the price of what they would originally cost. And I got two of them. So I'm excited to try these as well. I've never had these either. So moving right along to the next product. Um, these are both two brushes that were made by Sonia Kashuk. And I got these on sale at Target. Um, this one is called the Blending Crease Brush, and then this one is the Large Eyeshadow Brush. Both of these brushes retail for $6, and I got both of them for $4.21. So I think what happened with these brushes is that the packaging got damaged, and so they put them on the clearance rack, which is fine by me. I always love a good deal. I mean, $4.21 is better than $6. So yeah, I picked up both of these brushes and again, these came from Target. So the next products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are skin related products. Um, I'm gonna start with the makeup wipes that I got from TJ Maxx and these are called Fresh Food for Skin Cleansing Wipes. And these are targeted for people with 
uh, dry skin and they are pomegranate scented. So I did reach for these because I do suffer from dry skin. So I figured I'd give these a try. So these retail for $5 and I got these for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. Um, so I'm excited to try these out and see how I like them. So the next product that I got is made by Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Glow Body Luminize. And so it's just one of those uh, body highlighters. And I got it in the shade. What shade is this? There's not a shade on it, but they do come in. They do come in more than one shade because they did have quite a bit of shades. So this retails for $8.00. And I got it for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And that's just what it looks like. It's really pretty. I'll actually try it on for you guys so you can see. Just put a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see how pretty this is. And like, even though I know you would normally use something like this in the summertime and it's already fall, you could still use it, you know, on your shoulders, on your collarbone. You may could even get away with using it on your face, but this is what it looks like. And it's so pretty for the price. So I'm excited to be using that. Um, and again, it's by Wet n Wild. All right, and the last skincare product that I have for you guys is by Pearlescence. It's their Aloe and Rose Water Tonic Water, and I've seen a lot of people use this. So this product retails for $39.99, and it is eight fluid ounces, and I got it on sale for $6 at TJ Maxx, and this is what it looks like. It was actually on clearance. That's what that red sticker is for. And um, I want to say maybe this one on clearance because there was not a cap on it. Um, but again, $6 compared to $39.99, I'd say that's a good deal. So I have already tried this. Um, I did like the way that it felt on my skin. So I'm excited to keep using it. All right. So lastly, I'm going to be sharing you guys all the makeup products that I got from TJ Maxx and Target, um, starting with face products. So first I got a foundation and this one actually came from Target and it just so happened to be my exact shade. In my last video, I tried the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Glow Foundation. Well, I ended up finding the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Total Cover Foundation in my exact shade. So this is the matte version of that foundation that I found. Um, it retails for $12.99 and I got it for $9.06. It wasn't a huge uh discount on that but it was still cheaper than what it would normally cost so i did go ahead and pick that up so i'm really excited to try this so the next products that i'm going to be sharing with you guys also came from target and they are lip glosses and they are made by nyx um these are the nyx slip tease lip lacquers i got them in the shade chic appeal in the shade strawberry whip and then i also got the shade karma suit ya so these are the glosses that i got all three of these retail for 6.99 and i got them for four dollars and 86 cents and i'll show you guys some swatches so the first swatch is going to be karma suit ya And this is what that looks like. The next shade is Strawberry Whip. And I'll show you that one as well. So this is Strawberry Whip. And I think that is so, so pretty. I'm excited to try that one as well. And the last shade is Chic Appeal. Now this color, I didn't realize how light it was until I got home and I swatched it, but it's still doable as long as I have like a dark brown lip liner. I'm pretty sure I can make it work, but this is Chic Appeal. All right. So the next product that I'll be sharing with you guys is by e.l.f. and this is just their Prism Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $10 and I got it on sale for $7.01. 
and this is what it looks like it's really pretty again this is the prism eyeshadow palette by elf it comes with six shades and they're all shimmer shades hence the name prism um starting from the darkest going all the way to the lightest and if you know me you know i love a shimmer shadow so i'm very excited to try out this product um so yeah that is the elf prism eyeshadow palette Okay, so the next product that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is their blush trio. And the shade that I have is called Peachy Love. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the blush trio by Anastasia Beverly Hills called Peachy Love. Um, I think this is so pretty. I got really excited when I saw this in TJ Maxx. It's a very high-end makeup product. I mainly got it for these two shades here on the end because I felt like these would look really nice on me. And I think these are colors, or at least for me, I feel like these are shades that I could wear year-round. So I'm really excited to try this product out. So this one retails for $30, and I got it on sale for $9.99, so $10. Um, so yeah, $20 price difference and I'm super excited to try that. With me being a woman of color, it's very hard in stores like Target and TJ Maxx and Walmart to find products that match my shade really well. So I was super excited when I found this in TJ Maxx because this is the perfect contour shade for me. Now again, I don't bake, so I don't really contour contour. I kind of use it more as a bronzer. But again, I was super excited when I found this because everything else is never the right shade for me. So this contour compact retailed for $42 and I got it on sale for $12.99. So again, this was a really, really good deal and I'm super excited to try this one out. So the next product that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is by Becca and this is one of their highlighters and they are infamous for their highlighters. I love Becca highlighters. This one is in the shade. This one is in the shade Amethyst Flashes Geode. I hope I said that right. I'm pretty sure I butchered it. But so this is what it looks like. It's like a, one of those blush highlighters. It's super, super pretty. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And so that's what it looks like. And I'm very excited to try that out as well. Um, this is another one of those compacts that come with a mirror in it. So it's super convenient um, to take with you on the go whenever you need to touch up your makeup. And this product retailed for $38. And I got this on sale for $7.99 um, for this blush highlight by Becca so I'm very excited to try this out I'm very excited all right so the next products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are uh, lip products so the first ones that I'm going to be sharing with you are all by NARS and these are their velvet lip gloss I actually found three of them that I liked so I'm going to go ahead and get those out for you guys I'm really excited to show you the colors that I found these are the three glosses that I found at TJ Maxx. They're all by NARS. So this one is called Mind Shaft and I'll swatch all of these for you guys. This one is called, so this one is called Bound and then this one is called La Mang Blue. I might be saying that wrong, but these are the shades and I'll go ahead and swatch them for you so that you can take a look at them. This one right here is Mind Shaft, super pretty. It's like an orangey red gloss. And then the next one is Lemain Blue. It's another good color for the fall. It looks really similar to the NYX lip gloss. I guess they look very, they look almost identical. So I guess the NYX lip gloss could be a affordable dupe for that one. I'll have to write that down. But yeah, this is the Lemain Blue. And this is going to be really good for the fall time as well. I'm very excited to wear it. The formula feels very different from the NYX one. Um, the NYX one is a little bit thicker than this one, I think, in my opinion. But I, it is the back of my hand. I guess I won't really know how much I like it until, until I try it on my lips. And this one is bound. And this is what it looks like. And I'm really, really excited for this color. I know it's kind of light, but this will look really good with a dark brown lip liner and maybe 
like a nude lipstick and then put this here on the top really excited for that one i love all the shades that i found so all three of these glosses retailed for 26 dollars and i got them on sale for 7.99 for all three of these glosses all three beautiful shades so i was really excited about finding these the next gloss i got is by urban decay this is the vice liquid lipstick and it is like a deep dark brown purpley looking color another one that's going to be very good for the fall and a shade like this is not something that you would see me typically wear I, I normally go for like a light neutral color so this one whenever i do make a video using this this is definitely going to be out of my comfort zone and i'll only be doing it just for you guys for fall looks um, but i'm going to go ahead and swatch this one this one is a very dark deep vampy color and it's is right here and this is what it looks like I'm sorry if my lighting is kind of weird but that is what it looks like just a very dark deep it looks kind of purple looks kind of brown I guess you could call this a purpley brown but I'm very excited to try this one as well so the next product is going to be a matte lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's in the shade staunch and this is just like a nude color and something i'd probably wear with just a liner and just wear it by itself but this is staunch by anastasia beverly hills and this lipstick retailed for 21 dollars, and i got it on sale for 7.99 so i'm very excited to try this out for you guys all right, so the last product that I have for you guys is another lip product, and it is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a liquid lipstick, and the name of this shade is called Trust Issues. All right, so this is just what it looks like in the package. And it, again, it is a velvet matte liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Trust Issues. And I'm so excited to try this on for you guys. So that pretty much wraps up my video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know down below if you'd like to see me do more videos like this one where I do maybe hauls. Maybe the next one could be like a try on haul. Just give me your feedback and leave me ideas and comments down below for future videos. Um, so that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video today. Until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.